Hey there, how you doing? I'm going to show you just a couple of places, um, since I'm going to send articles to you tomorrow, I'm going to send you a couple of places where you can find um, kind of low-key things like newspapers and websites where you will find what Fossil is doing right now. And it's not going to be a lot of deep analysis, but it might give you some direction of what marketing efforts that they're really making. And I've noticed, um, I'm going to go on article databases, I've noticed in the, what we looked at yesterday that there's a lot related to their regional marketing and there's a lot related to their classic and vintage and retro marketing. So we're going to see which direction you want to take with that. So I'm going to go to a database that I showed in class called ProQuest. Do, 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 do. ProQuest Newsstand. I was going to call it ProQuest Newspapers. ProQuest Newsstand. And you can go very simple. I'm just going to do fossil and marketing. Now here's the problem. There's a lot of other things related to fossils. Um, so what you're going to want to do after you get there is go to company and organization and then just click on fossil Inc. And then these are all articles. And there's only 200 so that should be nice. I'll, I'll go through these and try and find some. Um, some things you're going to find are newspapers that are directly related to a title that you know, like New York Times or Wall Street Journal. But these really, with the radio signal, this is something called the Newswire, or just the Wire. These are news services that syndicate. So one person will write an article in maybe like Salt Lake City, but they'll put it up for syndication. And any paper in the world can grab this and publish it on their website or their paper. So it's kind of a it's still as legitimate as a newspaper might be. It's not scholarly, but you can still use it. Um, so fossil and marketing, there's different ways of sorting. This is by relevance. God knows what that means, but you can go by publication date. Another cool thing to look at is for fossil and marketing, you can see when those keywords showed up in the dates here. So kind of a flat line down here, but all of a sudden in 2005, there was a lot written about fossil and marketing, and then it took a dive again. So if you want to, you can narrow it down to just 2005, and you can see what they were doing then that made a big deal. And maybe that was just when the company was booming. I don't know. You get to pick on that. So I'm going to go back and do another search. And this is going to be called a nested search. You put it in parentheses, so you don't know um, what you're looking for, but you know several keywords. So I'm going to do retro, and then you put or in between retro, or classic, or what's another one? Oh, yeah. Vintage. And let's see what comes up with that. Again, you have to go to the company. Bum, 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 bum. Fossil Inc. Oh, there's only 25. This might be a good search. Oh, thanks. I don't want to do a survey. So right here, um, retro clothes to go with retro watch clothing lines. Seattle stores help fossil build on success. I'll send you that one. Um, so there's different ways of going about it, but the trick is just narrowing it down to the specifics that you're looking for once you generically know what you're looking for. So if you're looking for a particular country or particular style or um, collaboration with other businesses, you get the idea. And I'll send you a few articles. Um, there's other databases, but this is probably a good one for you to cruise around in today. And don't be afraid to go to their website, obviously, or hit Wikipedia and see what they're, what they're saying. You're not going to necessarily cite Wikipedia, but cruise around and see what other places say. In this database, by the way, is the New York Times and the Wall Street Journal, so you know you're in good shape with those papers. I'll send you more tomorrow.